kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> Tonight they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. A good pick up there, 22. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Ryan going to give to Freeman on the draw. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And no move by Dan Quinn to get the offense off the field. They're staying out there, and they're going forward on four. Play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. And that is going to be incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. And here now come the Falcons. We have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 12 yards there as they move the chains. nowhere taken down losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield it'll be a loss of a yard and it'll be second and 11. from midfield now here's ryan it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down.
Time running out here on the play clock. To throw is Ryan. Keeps himself upright. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I know that's their first connection in this game, but you and I both know that Julio Jones is without a doubt his quarterback's favorite target. Oh, yeah, Matt Ryan loves this guy. And who would Yeah, and the reason that he's that is because of his dependability. And quarterbacks have to have that from their receivers, meaning they know where they're going to be when they're running certain routes. They don't break them on them. They don't change them up and do their own freelance stuff and put their quarterbacks in bad situations. Matt Ryan has ultimate trust in Julio Jones. two-yard line the five-yard gain and now they're set up first and goal the Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime first down and goal the offense knocking on the door they'll look to run with Freeman that is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Now they send the tight end in motion left. From the four, it's second and goal. They run, Devontae Freeman. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, as the first half is winding down, and the Falcons will add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And it's good to make it 14-0. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So out come the Falcons now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Second and ten now. Ryan. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play 